Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lead Code. Um, so in our channel, we have learned uh, so many things like we have learned the protector, we have learned the selenium in Tamil and recently we also started to learn the playwright, right? So my belief, tutorial isn't enough to learn a, any, any kind of course completely, okay? So what I'm trying to say is basically you have to do the practice. See, to be honest, when you see a tutorial, you might think, okay, this, this is very easy. I can do it without any help. I can do it. But when you start to write the code or maybe take any scenario and try to solve it, definitely you will have some problems, right? Unfortunately, what are the things we face as a challenge during the learning that only we might get in the interview, right? This happens for most of the time. Personally, I have faced the same problem. Uh, sometimes I do not know how to solve a problem. I will think like, okay, I will solve it later, later. But in the interview, I will have a checkpoint on that particular problem. Okay. Um, okay. So what, what, what video is this like? Um, I'm going to give you some, uh, I'm going to give you a website where you can learn the testing. It doesn't restrict it to Selenium Protector or WebDriver or your Playwright. Whatever you are trying to learn on the automation side, probably you can use this website. Uh, even for API testing as well, okay? So I'm going to tell you how to create an instance in this particular domain service now. And I'm not related to service now or I'm not a, any any sort of, I'm into this. So this is basically I learned, learned from my guru who, who taught me Selenium. I learned from him that uh, this is the website to make, uh, to use and enhance the Selenium learning basically any any kind of automation so i'm just going to give you the same okay so disclaimer i'm not related any sort of things to the service now okay i don't know what this uh, actually it is uh, i believe that we can use this for our learning purpose only uh, not sure like uh, how this works entirely but yeah so today i will tell you how to create an instance and based on that in the next video i'll give you three test models to practice okay if you can practice that if you can write the code with the help of page object model or maybe bdd whatever you have learned so far from our channel or maybe any any other source probably if you practice in this particular website definitely i think that will help you okay because this application is very kind of dynamic in nature where you have to use lots of weight to do even a single click action okay so this is perfect application i can say of course, you might ask me what happened to lit code. Lit code is still there, but the problem with lit code is it's very, very static uh, website. Like if you want to learn the very basics, like how many types of inter inputs are there or how many types of dropdowns are there, there. And if you want to practice the selenium methods, probably this will definitely help you. But when we talk about automation, it's not about clicking or doing the typing. It's about the end-to-end -end automations where you have to write a script from the login to do some check-in, check-out or all the stuff, right? You know it better, correct? So service now is the perfect one, okay? So let me tell you the steps, how to create an instance. And in the next video, as I said, we'll go through the three test models, okay? So all the links will be in the description. So you can just take it from there. So first one, we have to do the registration. Enter your first name, last name, your email ID, your password, confirm password and the captcha and click on the sign up button. Uh, once you are done with the sign up, you will get an email, go and confirm there. Okay, so very easy. And we you have to do this all this manually. Don't write any code for this. Okay. And once you are done with this, probably you can go and do the sign in. So for that, again, the link will be in the description. You can take it from there. Okay. So click on this sign in button and then you have to enter your registered email address. So this is the one in my case. And then you have to give your password and then click on the sign in button very simple right now in this applications so this is like your developer.servicenow.com where you have your own credential to log in now after that what we have to do is we have to create an instance that will give kind of like your demo application okay so you can do it from here like you can click here request an instance or you can click here request an instance or here or even you can go to this profile and you can click like request an instance okay so let's click that and then it will ask you like uh, which location or which uh, kind of place you want i mean yeah kind of okay so i'll go with the latest list maybe uh, Quebec. 
yeah so we just click on that and here we have the request button so click on the request now it will take few seconds maybe um so once it is done we will get a new application url okay for example well we do the testing we get like qa1 qa2 uh, dev environment the testing environment right so similarly here also we'll get so here you can see your instance url is this one okay this is for each and individual like in my case it's 61978 uh, if you're trying to do the same you might get different number so for each and every person there will be different different user okay and here you can see we got the current password so copy this and uh, store it somewhere and click on this url this will take you to the new instance okay this is what i mean instance here so this is like your demo site where we can practice lots of testing things related to any automation framework okay so this is the cool thing about service now it's a kind of like e-ticketing management applications like if your mouse is not working your keyboard is not working you have to raise a ticket and the it will go to the respective person right so same kind of applications uh very very good application actually to learn this linear okay so this is the procedure to create an instance okay and you have to remember one thing if you are not going to use this instance regularly or for the 10 next 10 days it will go down okay in that case again you have to repeat the step right like you have to again request an instance or you can just uh, reinitiate that same instance okay but anyway you will get new url or the same each and every time okay so make sure to at least use this instance if you are going to create at least make sure you are going to use this instance and we can practice the selenium web driver protector playwright any application any framework and also even you can practice the api testing as well okay so here you can go and here you can go to the profile and you can change the password or you can do all the stuff here right so here we have a change password and you can obviously change the password okay so this is the instance this is the way or procedure to create an instance now based on this instance i will give you three test modules in the next videos and based on the modules of course you can practice like if you want to write a simple test engine script of course you can write you want to write a simple uh, protected script you can write or maybe page object model or maybe bdd you are welcome to do and explore whatever you can do okay and i will make sure i have both simple complex and a medium type of test modules so that you can practice a lot okay and i am trying to do so many things just to enhance your like in enhance your learning if you think that i am spending a good quality amount of time here kindly do the subscribe and click on the bell notification to stay updated with lots of learning okay so that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon